you know, I always want physicians to be trained by other physicians. But, you know, unfortunately, we're hearing stories from residents and medical students that part of their training, especially in hospital rounds, they're actually being mentored and precepted by nurse practitioners and PAs. Rishi, did you experience any of that in your training or have you heard anything like that from your peers? Definitely. So um, th- while I was going through residency, I did not have much of that. Uh, thankfully, all of our training was from physicians. However, as the years have gone by and different programs that I've heard this from, the most definitely uh, one of the biggest challenges ha- happens in the ICU, seems like um, overnight or a lot of times it's run by the NPs and PAs. Um, now, say central line needs to be put in or some of these more um procedures that need to be done are now being supervised by the nurse practitioners or taught by them. Um, and again, uh, yes, it's part of the algorithm. Yes, everyone hopefully will turn out successfully, but never does, rarely does, even intubations. Uh, some things that just doesn't work. And it's always good to have someone that has not just training, but a lot of experience doing it. And that can help explain why this did not work and why we need to you know, adjust our approach and whatnot. So Yes, a lot of people have, I've heard that significantly. Another challenge, it seems to be the pediatricians in the family medicine training or in the um, just, you know, medical school training, for example. Um, uh, recently from one of the medical students that I was, rotate, was rotating with me was their whole pediatric rotation was done by NP. And this, I don't know how a medical school can make that work. Um, they were aware of this, but it flew and it continues to fly. Um, and moreover, they, um, are also, you know, representing themselves as physicians. Uh, they say, Hey, I'm doctor, blah, blah, blah. And again, you know, this is what the medical students and, uh, they have kind of experienced because they're shadowing them essentially at this point. Uh, but it's, I think lack of physicians that can teach, um, lack of, I mean, again, it's all voluntary positions. So I believe that is what leads to this, um, growth of, non-physicians teaching future physicians. Um, Not all right, not all wrong, but just something that needs to be standardized, I would recommend, or I would assume. Um, I believe it probably was and has kind of adjusted as the, um, you know, the, the needs have changed and as the supply and demand of physicians have changed. Mark and I kind of crit, both cringed when you were talking about those experiences. I'm sure that that's not something that's flies in the, with the ACGME, would you say, Mark, to have uh, medical students being taught by NPs? Well, the, the ACGME doesn't address medical students, just residents. Ah. Uh, but yes, that, that would be something that that uh, we to work with NPs and PAs is different than having them be the preceptors. And in fact, um, up until recently, uh, with these proposed changes, uh, for example, the nurse midwives could not be the supervisor for a resident. It was against the against the regulations. And so in, in that particular unique case, I think it's reasonable. Um, and a lot of others, I don't think it's a good idea. 